I'm John Cruikshank. I'm the librarian here at the UGA Griffin campus. And today I want to give you a brief overview of the uh, resources and services that we have on offer here at our library. Uh, I'm going to begin with our web page. And this is our web page. Uh, here you can find my contact information, name, email address, phone number. The easiest way to get to our web page is simply go to Google and type in UGA Griffin Library. Those three words in any order and just click on the first link that comes up and that'll take you to our web page. Now, our web page also has links to important resources. It has links to the online catalog, to electronic databases, and to electronic journals. It also has a link to a fax page, frequently asked questions. And here, you'll be able to find answers to a lot of your questions. Now, if you click on the databases link, it'll take you to this page. This is a um, web page that all of our libraries on the Athens campus and everywhere else, we all use this web page. This is uh, sort of the point of departure for using our electronic resources. So <clears throat> if you want to do a database search, usually the easiest way to go about this is just go to the research by subject tab, click on that button. And it'll give you a listing of all these different fields. And so, for example, if you want to do a search in the area of crop and soil sciences, you'll find that, of course, under science and technology. Uh, go to that link, click on the link, and uh, it'll give you a listing of all the relevant databases uh, for that field. So if you pick, for example, CAB Abstracts, uh, probably the most heavily used database in that field. Just click on that link and it'll take you to a page where you can start doing your searches. Uh, if you already know the database you want to use, uh, just go to databases A to Z. It'll give you a listing of over 600 electronic databases and just scroll down to the one that you want. Now, to access electronic journals, just go down to the bottom link there, electronic journals. It'll take you again to this uh, page and go to e-journals. Click on e-journals link, e-journals by title, and then type in the title of your journal. So if you want to access information in the journal Nature, for example, type in Nature. And then it'll give you a listing of uh, different journal titles with the word nature in it. Now I want nature, so click on that link. And uh, very often, if it's um, a very widely used publication, uh, a prestigious publication like nature, often um, there will be a lot of different options for accessing that journal, depending on what year it is that you want, and so on. So. Uh, you have to scroll down this list and figure out which one you want. So, for example, if I want information that appears in the last four years of the journal Nature, scroll down to full text available at Nature, most recent four years, and click on that. And then it'll give you a listing of all the issues for that journal. Um, if you want to get to your library account, click on Get then library account, and at some point it'll prompt you for your My UGA ID. Now, one of the most important things I can do for you is to get you the information. Once you know what it is that you want, uh, you have a citation, you know what journal and page number and so on, um, often you can get that information right there. When you search those databases, it'll be there in a PDF for you. But very often, especially if it's highly specialized information, a specialized journal, more likely than not, it won't be there. Uh, you'll have to get it through interlibrary loans. Um, UGA on the main campus, the libraries there may not even have it. So the simplest way to deal with this is just go to your email, Take your citation, copy and paste that citation into your email, uh, or even if you have a whole bunch of them that you want, like 10, 20, 30 different citations, paste them all into an email and send them to me and I'll get them for you. Uh, I will need your name, I'll need your student number, 
Uh, so give me a list of the journal and book citations. And uh, I need to know when is the last date that you can use the item. But most importantly, I need to know how origin it is. If you need it today or tomorrow, I need to know that. So put that in email as well. So this is one of the big ways I can really help you here. Um, you're really at an advantage, I think, when you're on a small campus because I can give you a lot more attention, I can give you a lot more of my time than I could if I were dealing with 3,000 faculty and uh, tens of thousands of students. Um, one thing that often trips up students, uh, whether they're PhD students, whether they're undergraduate students, is choosing a topic. So often uh, you run into a situation where you think, you know, that would be a really interesting topic. I think I'll try that. And you, you go look and there's just nothing there. There's no information. Um, or alternatively, you think something's really interesting and it ends up, uh, it turns out that there's way too much information. It's just really difficult to find what you want. So this is something that librarians are very good and have a lot of practice at helping people with. Um, Students often run into problems. It's really tricky dealing with peer-reviewed literature, figuring out what really are good papers, what's really worth your time. Um, librarians can help you a lot there. In database searching, anyone can go to a database and put in a word and pull up a bunch of um, citations. Um, you might be able to make it work. You might have to spend a half a page or, ex or a page explaining why you're citing this which doesn't help you very much. I can show you some real neat tricks that'll save you an enormous amount of time. It'll save you days. And so you can use um, specialized tools that will help you do your database searching. It'll make it much easier for you. You'll be much more effective. You'll get much better information. Uh, so in a lot of cases, you'll get information where if you use that, um, your assignment's practically done for you. Often students run into this. You end up with 280,000 hits. Which, which one are you going to pick? Google's even worse. You run into 4,283,931. Which one are you going to pick? Librarians can help you with that. And with EndNote, um, keeping your information, your citations organized, I help a lot of people with that. Or if you prefer Zotero or one of the other databases managers, um, citation managers like Reference Manager or Mendeley, I can help you with that as well. Uh, so if you haven't been here for very long, uh, our library is located here in the Stuckey building. And to get there, go in this entrance. Uh, this entrance faces the Flint building. Go in here, take a right, follow the signs. We're at the end of the hall. and. Um, our library is open to you 24 seven with an access card, with your student card. And um, I'm there uh, typically Monday to Friday, eight to five. And in our library, um, we have a small selection of heavily used, very popular journals. Um, you're welcome to read those in the library. Uh, we also have a photocopier, we have a lounge area, and we have a conference room that you can use as well. So again, um, you'll probably be able to get most of the information you need off our website uh, from the facts page. Uh, you've got my contact information. Um, please don't hesitate to give me a call or drop by anytime, um, even, or send me an email message. Um, so that's a brief overview of our library services and resources. Thank you.